We back on another video. Coming at you from ChooseYourRelationships.com off of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. Ah, man. It's a question that I get a lot. Guys, quote, quote, nice guys say, I get passed over by women. They get the bad guys. And, you know, I don't. Nice guys finish last. And, and you know, I've, you, I've heard it all. You know, um, you know, I don't understand women. A lot of women seem to go for the players and not the guys that's really, that really care about them. Knock it off, man. <laughs> Cut it out. I think it's about, it's about time for me to address this. Nice guys always win. Yeah. Nice guys always win. If, you, if you're willing to stick it out long enough without giving up and quitting, you have the discipline to push through to build yourself and grow and become successful long term you can win you can win if you're willing to associate yourself with people that are vibrating at a higher energy, higher level than you. And some of that energy will infect you, spill off on you. And, you know, they say you become the average of the five people that you hang around. So if you're willing to do that, get around other people, associate with other people, you can win if you if you stick it out. It's going to take a lot of discipline. And I've been the way I've been all my life. All my life. Now, it seems like on the surface that the quote, quote, bad guys, bad boys is winning. They might have a head start, but in the end, they fall apart. They self-destruct. Go back. See, I'm an older guy, so this is why I know this. See, I didn't know this when I was in my 20s. I didn't know it because I wasn't old enough. But when I when when you go to your your uh, your uh, high school re reunion or college reunion. Whichever comes first, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. Some of these women, men and women, boy, she was hot, smoking when she y'all was in high school and college. Now she's late 30s, 40s, 50s. She's big like a hippopotamus. <laughs> you don't got to ask for the phone number now. She can give you the phone number. And I throw it in the trash. Because I'd be like, my, 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 what has happened to you? Ooh, wee! Look like an elephant out here. <laughs> and a lot of these people are sick. Um, a lot of them drug addicts, alcoholics. In they later years of their life, you know, they're just broken. And I'm, you know, I'm, I don't have no diseases. I'm in good health. I'm not addicted to drugs and alcohol. None of that. I'm physically fit. You know, I work out every week. But take a look at some of your classmates. You're going you're gonna to see exactly. As you get older, you see what I'm talking about. So let's say if you're 25 now, give it another 20 years. 
Because by that time, your classmates, they got kids. Most of them will be married. Some of them will be divorced. And they got kids. A lot of them going to be overweight, fat, sloppy. Um, they're going to have financial problems. That's going to be like... I'm, out of this world. It's like, I'm like, what? Some of them going to be... Some of, them, some of the baddest chicks that I used to know, they strippers and, um, you know, they moved away and got into the fast life on the, the underworld and they strippers. They had a couple kids early and I'm talking the baddest women out of my high school have pretty much went to the dark side. Some of them are lesbians. I'm like, my God, what has happened? I mean, some of them, I, I'm surprised because they were so quiet and so innocent. Look at them now. Woo-wee. Man. Ooh, man, I tell you, man. So, hey, man, so I, so I look at them, I say, hey, man, guess I'm winning now. <laughs> God, man, I thought I had it. I mean, we all have problems. The problem is not going nowhere. You're always going to have some type of problems. Things you have to work on. That's just a part of life. But man, we, hey. So if you're willing to stick it out, if you have enough discipline, you got to push through your fears, your problems. You got to fix your problems, whatever it is. You can win. Trust me. This is like, it doesn't matter what endeavor I get into. I know if I stick it out long enough, if I can, if I have the right information, and if, and if I can stick it out long enough, regardless of the lack of resources, regardless of what I don't know, I can learn as I go. I know I can win. Now some, my sister was like, why did you, why did you say that? I told her the same thing I just told you. She said, why you say that? Because I know most people are going to quit. I know most people are going to quit. She said, why you say that? Because that's what most people do in America. They quit. They quit because they feel entitled. I don't feel like I'm entitled to anything. Nothing was ever given to me. So I don't feel like I'm entitled to anything. So you're not going to outwork me. You might have... More money than me, more resources than me. You might know more people in hidden places than me, but you can't outwork me. You can't do it. I don't care who you are. You can't do it. Because I'm on top of my game 24-7. Even while I'm asleep, I'm on top of my game. So if you're willing to sacrifice football and basketball on the weekends you're willing to you know sacrifice going to the club every weekend if you're willing to stop smoking cigarettes as much stop drinking so much and really focus and if you can stick it out long enough you can win. You don't have to change anything about it. You don't have to change for no woman. If you're going to change, change for yourself. That's just that. That's how that is. You know, it's like, it's not, it's not really that complicated. And see, the problem is, is we get around the wrong people. And we get off track. But if, you, but if you're around forward-thinking, positive people that's doing something with their life, besides acting like they're doing something, or perpetrating like they're doing something, or have, have a sense of entitlement, you can't win around those people. But if you get around people that's grinding, that's going somewhere, that's 
just want to be the best they can be at doing whatever they're doing. It doesn't matter what they do, but as long as they're striving to be the best they can be at doing whatever that is, if you're around people with that energy, phew, sky's the limit, man. You can win, man. Tell it. I've overcome the odds so many times in the 40 plus years of my life. I'm not even supposed to be living right now. Depending, uh, if you talk to the average doctor in America, I'm not even supposed to. Be, I beat the odds 30 years ago. And, I, and I'm still beating the odds. So you can win. Only, the, only, the, the only way I've overcome a lot of that stuff, I was relentless. I didn't give up. I didn't care what nobody think. Tell me I can't do it. Who are you supposed to be? Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of my life. <laughs> Just because you can't do it, that don't mean I can't do it. You don't know who you're dealing with. That's how you got to be out here. You got to think that you're the baddest son of a bitch ever walked this planet. And you can back it up. See, most people are weak. They're not going to make it. At best, they'll be average and mediocre. That's it. So you can win. You can do it. If you have the right information, man. If, and if you get around the right people. I got your back. So, hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Check out my website, ChooseYourRelationships.com. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.